will have gusty winds around for your Monday. To tell you the truth, it's actually going to be a gustier, windier day than what we'll have for Tuesday and Wednesday. And I'll explain why here in just a bit. So yes, some gust in the 30s and 40s. Do not be surprised. There might even be some isolated power outages because of that. I mean, obviously I don't work for the electric company, but I can tell you that even a simple branch falling off a tree can, you know, knock some power out. So I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. But look at Tuesday. The winds, not quite as strong. Still breezy, yes, but not as gusty. Here's the setup. This is actually a big upper level low encapsulating a surface low that is the tropical system. Okay, so Ada is underneath that. What that upper low will do is it will pull it back to the west away from Florida. So look at that, it comes all the way out here in the Gulf. So that means that the strongest winds will pass by for Monday and then Tuesday, Wednesday, I actually think our winds will go down. Perfect representation of that. Look at this, look at how the winds kind of come away from Florida. And then it does try to drift back to the north, but look, as a much smaller storm by the time we get to like Wednesday, Thursday. So yes, could it strengthen out in the Gulf? I've had tons of questions about that. Yes, absolutely, and I actually think it will. But as I always say, one of the famous sayings I always talk about is, nobody will really care as long as it doesn't come close to land. That's going to be the part of the forecast that gets difficult is later in the week, Will it come for land or will it stay out in the Gulf? The hurricane warnings though are down to our south in the Keys. You'll be happy to know though, don't get too stressed if you have a home or if you have friends down there. Even down there, it was mainly a precaution to put out the hurricane warning down there. I have not seen any hurricane force winds down there. Actually, and quite frankly, this is such a discombobulated type of tropical storm, and this is normal in these uh, disorganized tropical storms that the strongest of winds are actually displaced well to the northeast. So we're talking the strongest winds are up here around West Palm and Fort Lauderdale. They're not down towards the Keys. And that happens when you get dry air that comes in and wraps around the center like that. Then what happens is you get kind of a whiplash on the northern side. And so the strongest of winds can be displaced well to the north. That's also why we're going to have our strongest winds for Monday, even though it's staying well to our south. So it moves west. It kind of gets pulled back this way by an upper low, if it's going to be strongest, it's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, okay? And then if it tries to move north, it probably will weaken as it does so. But again, there's a lot at play here. And here's what I'm talking about. There's an upper low sitting almost right on top of it. That's going to act to pull it west, whereas the high pressure is going to act to push it west. And by the way, the pressure gradient between these two is what's really causing the gusty winds. The upper low goes away, the high pressure stays solid, so that means usually tropical systems try to go around on the western side of these highs. But there's another high that's going to try and come down from the north, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Does it actually move north quick, or does it just kind of weaken slowly over the next five to six days? The strongest of winds are going to be down here to our southwest, like I said. So Monday, gusty winds. Tuesday, they back off. Wednesday into Thursday, it will all depend on the exact track. If it stays to our west, our winds really won't go up. If it comes a little bit closer to the coast, our winds will go up by later in the week, thinking like Thursday time frame. For now, though, the circulation, again, you can see it kind of gets pulled back down here to the southwest of Florida. So yes, we'll get kind of whipped with those showers, squally weather passing by. All right, interesting setup here where we have an upper level low up high in the atmosphere on top of a tropical storm. And so you can see right in there how the dry air is kind of surrounding the tropical storm. That is one of the reasons why this storm is not strengthening at this point in time. You might be wondering, well, wait a second, the storms that are usually sitting here like in July and August, they just boom, they strengthen rapidly. It's not the same setup, okay? Will we see some gusty winds? Of course we will. There's a tropical storm to our south. So yeah, don't be surprised to see some gusts in the 30s, 40s, maybe even into the 50s. But for the most part, it's going to be gusts in the 30s and 40s. And then notice as we head towards Tuesday, the gusts come down. That's because of how the evolution of this storm will play out. It's kind of complicated, so you're going to have to pay close attention to the details with this one. It's going to stay to our south, so we will get an easterly wind all day long, and any showers passing by will move east to west, out towards the Gulf. 
Okay, so don't be surprised if you get some rain and then it's quiet for an hour and then some rain and then quiet for an hour. It's going to be like that, but they will contain gusty winds when they pass. So that's something to be aware of. Yes, there could be some isolated power outages if a branch falls on a power line, something like that. I'm not going to exclude that potential. That is definitely possible, even though the tropical storm is staying well away from us. The wind field, though, is going to be the big headline because, again, it's a weak tropical storm right now, but sometimes with weak tropical storms, they're what we call sloppy. So the strongest of winds are actually spread out far away from the storm. That is why for your Monday, we're going to have the stronger winds pass by. And then look what happens Tuesday into Wednesday. It shrinks down and goes farther away from us to the west. So it could be one of those deals where, believe it or not, as it gets stronger, we have weaker winds into Tuesday and Wednesday. And notice how then it tries to drift north. But at that point in time, as it's drifting north, there will be strong winds coming in from the west. They're back here right now, okay? So there's almost no wind shear affecting it for, I'd say, Tuesday and Wednesday. But by Thursday, you see it coming in right there? There it is. So that's probably what's ultimately going to help keep it from getting too terribly strong down the road and maybe even weaken it.